So let me make it clear to whichever intelligence is operating behind the criminality that the government of Jamaica will not pull down the zone of special operations. The zones of special operations remain relevant and in the current fight to restore law and order in certain communities. They are bringing about meaningful and sustainable transformation of these communities and are restoring a sense of hope for the people who reside within and around the zones. Indeed, to borrow a phrase, the zones are special up maybe the best example of what we call proximity policing. Madam Speaker, I was saying this, people are our most valuable asset and the focus of the work is how we offer opportunity and transform the lives of the population in these challenged communities. We are seeking to further extend all seven areas currently declared as zone of special operations, ZOZO, which will expire on the 21st of February 2023. Acting on the advice of the National Security Council, in accordance with the law reform, zones of special operations, special security and community development measures, act in accordance with Section 5 of the Act, which guides that the Prime Minister and Council, after consultation with the Joint Command, may by order subject to affirm the resolution of the House Representative, extend the period referred to in Section 4.3, the Mount Salem, Denham Town, August Town, Greenwich Town, Norwood, Parade Gardens, and Sabamar Zones of Special Operations, Special Security, and Community Development Medals to be extended for a further period of 60 days. Thank you very much. Madam Speaker, I now seek the support of my colleagues to extend all seven zones of special operations as laid out in the resolutions tabled this afternoon on the 31st. Members, the question before the House is that the resolutions, notice of which the Minister gave earlier, be approved. Those in favor? Those against? The ayes have it.